time for Eric plays. So six multiplayer. And there I am. All right. It's a good enough place to have a city. So now I've got Ulm. It appears to me, since I'm playing a bunch of different games at the same time as the same civilization, that Civ has gone from the deterministic naming model for cities to one that's more random out of a um, pot of potential names, which is kind of neat. All right, so. Looks like my dude was pillaged. It was bound to happen. <laughs> okay, let's see here. He can have a major victory, but unfortunately, I don't have walls. So it's not quite the victory I'd prefer. We gotta get rid of these guys since they have a nice horseman. And by nice I mean terrifying. Alright. Let's rebuild that trader. And Ulm. You've got plenty of housing for the moment. <laughs> We've got the money to support our military. Let's do an archer. Just stay on the defense. This dude can attack. Hopefully it's not a horrible idea. This guy comes and this guy at the same time. It might have been, might end, turn out to have been a horrible idea. We'll see. Save that game. On to the next one. And now we've got all the stupid notifications from hell that will make it hard for me to click on the buttons I need to click on. They really need to turn that stuff off during gameplay. From the first stirrings of age. So I didn't get to do any more work yet on my donation script. And that is because I spent a huge chunk of yesterday trying to uh, Uh, get a uh, dependency to compile. All right, let's see here. All right, so it says I should just click next turn. So I know how to do that with my keyboard. <laughs> let's go explore back here. And now what? Now it says next turn again. Okay, submit that file. Go to Rise and Fall. Multiplayer, seat, game. I just need to check one quick thing on my other computer. From the first stirrings of life beneath water the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Queen Sandu, the stars reveal you lead career to greatness. Build Seun to educate your people.
Alright. We've got drama and poetry. Wonderful. Uh, let's see what's over there. Alright, watching. Wanted you to do a builder next. Oh, cool. I've got the uh, hanging gardens. Excellent. <coughs> Alright. So I built the hanging gardens. Uh, we got plus four. Oh, man. Uh, I think I'm not gonna make it. I think I'm gonna get a dark age. I'm not sure. We'll see. Pretty close though. All right. Uh, Cologne is losing loyalty. No, it's not. It's this full loyalty. I think that's an old message. All right. Trajan wants. Oh, I skipped a thing from Dan in the last game. Unfortunately, I'll have to uh, get that on the next go around. I've been warned. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's mad that I made his wonder. Okay, got it. I was like, I don't understand what he's upset about. Somebody killed somebody. Somebody may have gotten a promotion, it sounds like. Alright, next game. I think it's my other Germany game. Uh, let's see. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron, and rule with horse and sword. No, it's my America the game. The sky above. America, America. All right, let's see here. Thousands have lived without love. Not one without water. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Some bad guys attacking the French, I guess. Alright, research. Where is my civilization? Washington. St. Louis. So it looks like I could make pretty good use of sailing. Let's make a city. Maybe. There we go. Baltimore! Hey, look at that. I like Baltimore. Alright. And now, this guy's got a safe place from which to attack you. Loser. Alright, and you... Uh, go back there. <laughs> Alright. What's going to happen here? Choose production. Alright, Baltimore. Yes. Ancient walls. That would be great, because then I could attack you. Gorgo. Alright, no, I don't want anybody to send me any diplomatic anything. The fact that they want to must mean it gives them some kind of advantage. Maybe it allows them to spy or something, I don't know. Alright, India game time. I think I was about to be done with a... One of my cities I think was about to be done with whatever they were building. You have built great cities of stone and seen early empires rise and fall. 
Soon you will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles, alongside your gallant knights. That is where the story of your people will be written. Just as the young apprentice learns to carry a sword, so shall... All right, Let's see what's back here. Connecting back up to my city. Go up this way. Looks like I have a path this way if Dave doesn't send me a warning, huh? Uh, sorry, sorry, dude. My, my bad. I didn't mean it. I did not mean it. Three, three, three. Oh, nice. Okay, so in a few turns. I'll be in good shape. So somebody I'm gonna say Delhi should build another settler. Actually, let's have a bunch of settlers, see if we can come this way maybe if Dave hasn't taken it all. They seem like they have a pretty Crap military. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take uh, Congo if they start pissing me off. <coughs> anyway. Compared to Civ 5, Civ 6 likes you to play wide, you know, have a big empire as opposed to just having small, uh, less amount of cities that grow bigger. In fact, it's not a good thing to get your cities, let your cities get too big in Civ 6. At least that seems to be the way it seems to go. And I think seems to mirror what I see some of the more knowledgeable people recommend. Alright, last game. From humble beginnings, Gilgamesh. you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron, and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets. A collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. In your people lies your greatest strength, Emperor Kinshi Wong. From all. Alright. Let's see here. David's getting a might bit more aggressive. Nice, major victory. But since he can only hit me from one away, let's back up. Kind of circle the wagons, if you will. Alright. Let's fortify until healed. Fortify until healed. Oh, I guess I was going to go one more, right? Eh, good enough. Save that game. Save it. Submit that file. Alright, this has been Airplane Civ 6 Multiplayer. I'll see you next time. Bye.